Hello, I'm Kevin from Redefine Entertainment, and today is the cabling portion of this home network setup video. So let's get right into it. So remember, this is part two of the home network setup. The part one was all about the server, so if you haven't seen that, I recommend go seeing that. And then coming right back here to this video, right where we are right now. So, this is the room where we're going to have all of our uh, networking come into. As you can see, we already have two cables right here. My horrible handwriting. But this is the front room bottom and the front room top. So those are going to be two outlets over in the uh, studio right over there. And they're going to be plugged into a switch, or a patch panel, and a switch up here that's all sitting on this little shelf. So this little shelf here is just going to be mounted right up here, above uh, this furnace control system here. And it's going to have the switch and the router and everything up here. And of course you can see little sports because all that stuff isn't that heavy. Uh, this is going to be primed to paint. You'll see more of that soon. I just want to show you before we did any of that. And here is the lot thicker of a shelf. You can see we've got huge giant supports. And that's going to be mounted right down here. It's going to go a little bit lower, but I don't know if you can see that. But the whole server, that big Lenovo, is going to be sitting on here from part one. That's why you have big supports, because that thing is heavy, especially with one of those old monitors on. It's not as heavy as it could be, but it is quite heavy, so that'll be nice to have that all in here, and then we'll be able to have, you know, Minecraft and stuff on it, but let's uh, go see some more stuff, and hopefully this will be even more finished soon. So as you can see, we've improved it a bit in here. The wall is now completely white, and we've got our two shelves up. This one is pretty sturdy and we've still got these two cables here that may have to be replaced with uh, some of the stuff that we've gotten. But just to show you, we do have the server and stuff that we're going to set up here. So here it is. This is our server. As you saw in the first one, if you haven't checked that video out again, make sure to go check that out. As you can see, it just sits right there. The shelf was just made for it, which it was. And this is the monitor. Oop, there it goes scraping on the ground. This monitor sits right on top there. And we have our networking switch and router and stuff that'll go up here. So here's the networking switch, which we can put here. And the modem will go here, and the router will be on top of this. And we'll have everything plug in right here. So this is the point where I'm going to take out the house's internet to move some of the stuff into here. And we'll also have to do some cabling and running a cable all the way up there. And maybe replacing these two because we have uh, different wall plates than we originally imagined. And the things that we have to couple onto this won't work. So let's see how that turns out. And here we are. We have our two cables here that we ran through the wall into the office slash studio here. And we're just going to put these two uh, female connectors uh, onto these wires here. So this one's already been stripped back here. And we want to look. We want to follow the B pattern here that's on the sides. See, it's there and there. So that means we want the orange and the green there. So when lining this up, looks like for this, we're going to want to put the cable here and put the orange and blue through the bottom. So we're going to put these in first, putting them through these two holes that are here. So the orange and the blue, well, it looks kind of purple. Go through there, and as tight as possible to the uh, shielding here. And we'll just put those two out of the way for right now. And we will start with the orange. Start with untwisting it. And we look on the B. We want the orange and white one there and the orange one there. So 
So we will put the orange and white one through there, and the orange one through there. And we got this board to set this on, to then use our tool with the cutting edge to the outside. So then you just line it up, and then push down, and then do it again. You can see the little end fell off there, clipping it off nicely. Now we will just repeat that. There's the end. Then we'll do the same thing for the blue. Looking at this, following the B, the blue, and twisting them. The blue goes to the outside, and then the blue and white to the next one over. Once we got those in, same thing with the cutter to the outside still, pushing down and again. This one down and again. And the ends just fall right off. And here's the green. Doing the same thing. Pulling it as tight as possible into where the wires are. Down and again. Down and again. And here is the brown. Which the brown goes into this one. And the white and brown goes into that one. Take the tool again to the outside. Cut it down and again. Next one over. Down and again. And there we go. We can put the cover on now and put it into the outlet as soon as we finish the other one. So here we're back in the server room and as you can see we've got our switch, our router, and modem up along with the computer which is on right now. The server's doing some stuff. And we've got our patch panel here. It's actually going to be mounted right underneath here. And we have plans that this first six is going to go to the living room. This next six is going to go to the office slash studio, and this next six is going to go up to the game room, and then this end six is just left open. We know we're not going to use all six of them, you know, for each room. There's only going to be two for up there, and two for there, and one for over there, but uh, just to organize it a little bit more. So we're going to get you a more up-close view, and we're going to try out number 13 here, one of these wires up to the uh, game room up there and we're going to test if it works. Okay, so here we are. We've got uh, one of these cables here and I'm just going to take it and we're going to take this here. We're going to look. We want to do 13. So the plan is to have it up like this. So we will plan to take it out in like this. And we want to have enough cable length to get to either side. So we're going to get it about an inch, inch and a half down. And to do that we're just going to take this little thing here and then put it over and then all we have to do is take this twist it around once take it off and then break it and there we go that's the sleeve removed and then as you can see inside here we've got these different wires here and this middle sleeving. So we're going to just take that middle sleeving and cut it off. Right with these little snips here. And throw that down there. And there we go. So now to do this properly we want to take this here and we want to think of where they all have to go. So the brown has to go over there, the green next to it, the blue at this end, and the orange there. So why don't we start with the orange and the green, trying to get that in there. So what we want to do is 
take this, move the brown and the blue out of the way, and then start to undo the green. Undoing it, untwisting it, all the way to there. And then we want to make sure the green is on the appropriate side. So the white has got to come on this side, and the green onto that side. And here is the finished server room. So as you can see, we have the patch panel up, and it is labeled with all of our different labels here. Got these nice short little patch cords, and we've got this nice surge protector built in, mounted on the wall here, so that way all the devices are protected against surges, and most of the cable management's done. There'll still be a little bit more to do, but the server's up and running, so let's go and get into it. So here we are. We are logged into the virtual machine server that is over there. You can see we've got our Minecraft server up here, and we'll eventually have an Arc server as well. Uh, we can bring the Minecraft over here, and you can see if we hit multiplayer, there is the server. So if we go into it, this is the uh, Lockwin PvP map. So this is just a little quick snippet of it here, but. We're working on it. It will get done eventually. Eventually. And we also have the file server there. So as you can see, this is here. We've got the uh, KC Legos and Refund Entertainment under our YouTube drive. That way, all of my raw photos and files and, well, everything for the YouTube channel just goes into there. And then I can edit it wherever I need to from whatever computer I need to. And I have qu pretty quick access to it as well. And I, you guys really liked part one of this series, so I'm hoping that you guys like this video even better because we did some cool stuff in this one, doing all the cabling and everything. I wanted to show you even more, but we were doing it so quick and I didn't even know how to like, you know, videotape it and everything, how it wouldn't be shaky and get enough light, but I hope you enjoyed this and that we'll have many more videos like this in the future. We'll be doing some fun stuff. We have some cool products to review, so make sure to check back for those. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to follow us on social media and check out our website. The link's in the description below. And if you liked, please hit that button. If you disliked, you know where that button is. And be sure to get subscribed.